<laughs> but like, real quick, you guys, I, I, did, um, I didn't get a chance to mention Scotty um, yesterday because uh, he wasn't here. Really important reason he wasn't here, right? You had a good, good evening or anything well? Yeah, yeah. Okay, but um, I did, I did want to remark on um, how well he did um, in his opportunity to teach and walking around fixing people and just being a part of uh, the thing that we did in Denver. And I know it doesn't immediately have a lot to do with you guys, but in the bigger picture, it certainly does. Because um, what Scotty does is he takes the initiative to, to learn how to become a better teacher and a better student of, of the grappling arts. Now, not, I know that not everybody is afforded the opportunity to do extracurriculars in their training. Some people are just budgeting jujitsu, mm -hmm. and, and that's hard enough, and I get that, that's okay. But Scotty works a full fucking job outside kicking his ass, uh, and then still manages to be here every fucking week, and has never missed a fucking tournament if it's available to him, even if he's injured, even if he cuts his finger off, wow. or smashes his fucking <laughs> foot, or falls off a ladder, or whatever the fuck he's got going. How much shit do you do in here, man? It's a lot of shit, man. Yeah. Um, doesn't miss the camp if he can help it, even if it's at the last second. Um, pro probably, man, arguably, with all of that gameness that you carry with you, You've kind of turned yourself into one of the more well-rounded individuals on the team, man. And um, I got a lot of good feedback from from Jake. We we're just talking about you today a little bit, and um, he, there was a potential for you to do great things in, in catch wrestling and in jujitsu. Is really high now. Like, and age is not a factor for anybody. And Scotty's a great example of that because he's he's old enough to be half your guys' dad, uh, <laughs> and he's he's out there, you know, as as an older man killing dudes half his age and, and sometimes twice his size, you know, so he's, he's going against the grain and he's doing it the best way possible. Um, so I, I'm proud of you, man. I know, um, I know day to day I say that to everybody all the time. I, if I tell you good job or looking good or I'm proud of you or keep it up, like, I mean that shit. I wholeheartedly. I don't fucking compliment the weak. I don't. I'll fucking tell you to pick up your shit and bounce because that's how I was raised in my, my jiu-jitsu and my wrestling. But, but Scotty is probably one of the best examples of what you should strive to be like as a grappler and even as a person. Because he's got, he's a wholehearted individual, he's loving and he's fucking caring, he's helpful, but he's also got that side where, you know, you fuck around, you're going to have to find out. And I love that because that's real. Okay, like I, I appreciate how authentic he is and who he is. So, um, so I'm fucking super proud of you, man. Just appreciate it. Keep doing your thing, dude, and um, there's a, a little bit of um, significance in this belt that you're about to get, man. Oh, wow. Oh, so, <laughs> you will be receiving a belt with, a, uh, with the red stripe here soon, but one, it's not in yet, but two, I decided to do it just a couple days early with the white stripe. Because the the white bar in, in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, it signifies the competitor. Okay, the guy. If you see a, a black belt wearing a white bar, that means that dude is a devoted game ass competitor who fucking gets he scraps at every opportunity. He is known as a competitor in his academy. He's known as a competitor. He could probably teach too, but he's the dude that if you see. If you see guys with red bars on their belts and one dude with the white bar, that's probably the dude that's going to give you the hardest fucking round in the academy. Now, speaking overall, I know firsthand that Scotty is probably one of the hardest dudes to roll with on this team. Everybody I roll, and I roll a Harley once or once twice a year I might roll him because he's another one of those really hard ass rounds for me. But Scott does induct me, and it is one of the hardest things to have to roll with him, man. I have to stab him to get him to fucking tap, like, pretty much. So, um, Carlos, if you wouldn't mind. Absolutely. Because you are my China party, brother. You <laughs> should award that to our man. All right, Come on my out, man. Scotty. I am proud to be the one that brought this house from the mat. He was yelling shit to his kids on the sidelines, <laughs> and I said, dude, you want to yell shit? Get in the mat. Fucking it up a bit. And he did. Alright. Oh, that looks good. I would, I, would, I would just keep around the white bar, dude. That shit looks sexy. It's not too hot, man. There we go.
That's the only reason I'm here right now, man, is just like time. It's not anything special. It's just time, time, time. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Come in on Saturday if you can. Hit all the classes you can. Double up on classes if you can. And if you can't, just be consistent, man. And, and, and it's not hard. It, well, it's not easy. But just, just show up, man. And I'm, I'm like, I'm really shocked right now. I don't even really know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, six years going on six years of fucking being here man and it's uh but you guys can do it too man there's all, all, a lot of you guys are way better athletes than i am you know what i mean you move better than me so you know you should be able to, to strive and be right here with me quickly you know what i mean so i appreciate all you guys help and uh you know anytime you need anything uh, as far as like you want somebody to show you a little something something different or you need help on the technique that we're working on just hit me up and i got you man all right i appreciate it you guys Thank all you. right man congratulations yeah. all right guys let's roll so sorry Suckers better get what you can because this is the last one, motherfucker. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. Thanks, man. Alright, what's your number seven? Four? Four. Yeah. Gotcha. Let's do it. Thanks, man. That's all right. Yeah, congrats, brother. You go like till 905 or something? I appreciate you. Yeah, brother. Dude, I'm gonna straight up. I'm gonna go. You better. <laughs> yeah. Don't smack me camera, bro. Don't smack me either. That's the whole point. You gotta hit everything. I'm gonna hand you right now, dude. You guys ready? No. Oh, there. This is the first one to crack the ass. Let me start going. Alright, let me know when you're ready. Let's go. Woo. Go. Who's the first? My oldest son got his black belt about three months ago. All right. 